friends, it's Hannah. <coughs> I'm a little bit of a cough. Um, hope everyone is doing well and is safe from Hurricane Ian. It went right through here, but the rain has already stopped. There's no flooding where I live. Um, about 30 minutes away, that is not the case. So, um, we'll see how it goes. I get to work the weekend to relieve Team A that stayed at the hospital through the hurricane. So, it will be my turn to work after that. But I wanted to go through a bunch of these empties because they are taking over my space. And we don't need that. None of us need that. Um, my recent sponge LA I used was Blackberry. One of my favorites. Um, I just like this as an exfoliating moment. It is artificially scented, synthetically scented, whatever, but you win some, you lose some. Ritual Essential Vitamins for Women. Love that. Um, oh, I got these whole black peppercorns in a glass bottle um, from... Um, Hive brands and they weren't super expensive considering how many were in here. These are a product of India. It tells you that it's farmer owned. Um, it tells you like where they were distributed from, what the batch number was, when they were packed, all kinds of stuff on here. So these are really nice. I repurchased them already. Um, I emptied a bottle of Inner Defense from Young Living. This is basically just like a supplement to help boost your immune system. And I've been taking it because all the weather changes are making me crazy in my throat. So, you know. Um, Philip Kingsley Elasticizer Deep Conditioning Treatment. So, it says to put wet your hair, put this on, cover with a shower cap, leave for 10 to 20 minutes... And it says, the longer the better, rinse and follow with shampoo, conditioner, and scalp toner. Um, if you have finer hair, double shampoo to remove all the products. So actually what I did is when I got off work, there were about two and a half uses in here, to be honest with you, because um, I have a lot of hair. I got off work one day at 6 a.m., 6.30 a.m., something like that, and I went ahead and put this on, covered with a shower cap, covered with like a sleeping cap. Um, for your hair and went to sleep and then when I woke up I washed it out so that's what I did I do really like it it made my hair feel really smooth but because I have so much hair I don't know if I would repurchase it because I don't like tubs of product I feel like it's easier to do a squeeze bottle but um, also I think it was expensive I got it from FabFitFun but I'm not really sure um, this is the bougie olive oil I buy. You can get it on sale, but it's in a glass jar, which I really like. You can also get this from Hive Brands, I think. Um, it's EcoCert certified, um, and this is actual real olive oil. This isn't like the fake stuff, which is a thing. That's a thing. Um, we have waterless dry shampoo. This is a no residue dry shampoo. Um, paraben-free, sulfate-free is pretty good. You can get this at Target. Um, another thing for your hair, this is the Aveda Damage Remedy Daily Hair Repair. So this is actually a, like a leave-on treatment. It's not like... A deep conditioner which is what I used it as I used it the same way as the other one I just squeezed it out and shoved it on my head put on a shower cap put on a sleeping cap went to sleep um, I, what I don't like is because this is a leave-in product I didn't think about this when I was doing it I felt like I used basically the whole thing um, on my head you have to shake it it's like a weird consistency and I put so much of it on my hair because my hair was just soaking it up uh, Eventually, it did get to the point to where I got it into my liking, but so I used half of it, like, when I ran out of that and didn't have enough to finish my hair, and then I used it one other time and it was gone, 
but it's only 3.4 fluid ounces, so that's not terribly surprising. It was okay. Um, probably wouldn't even repurchase it as a leave-in treatment just because it felt weird. Um, Young Living, my favorite, Vanilla Mint Salt Scrub. I have been hoarding this. Hoarding is hoarding this. I have a, several, um, but I've been neglecting to use them because I don't want to use them up and not have them. And then I realized how dumb that is, so I used it. Another thing of Ritual Vitamins. A nail polish remover. This one is from Walmart. This just says Advanced Nail Polish Remover. It says removes regular and gel nail polishes from natural nails. Advanced formula, soft fragrance, strengthens and nourishes natural nails with botanical oils. Somehow I highly doubt that this nourishes anything, but you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do and get that stuff off your nails. I paint my nails a lot, so I don't usually do top coats, so they look horrible right now. I'll have to fix these before I go to work, but I don't do top coat because my nails grow so fast, so it's not even worth it. Um, so I use a lot of the stuff. Young Living Valor deodorant. Love, love this. It's aluminum free, paraben free, and it has Valor essential oils, which is one of my favorite blends ever. Um, made good granola bars. I got these in a... I don't know if I got these from High Brands or Misfits Market, but they're nut-free granola bars. These are chocolate chip, um, and the surprise in here is that they actually have lots of vegetable extracts in here. Spinach, broccoli, carrots, tomatoes, beets, shiitake mushrooms, um, but they don't taste weird. They are, they aren't the traditional granola bar. And like you can tell but they're not that far off so like for a child they probably wouldn't even notice as a very picky adult I notice but I'm super picky to be completely honest um, cotton swabs from Walmart always using those do not put them in your ears they are not to go in your ears <laughs> just they're not to go in your ears um, my favorite laundry detergent, Young Living Thieves Laundry Soap. It's been a while since I've emptied one of those, I feel like. Um, the panty liners I've been using right now are these from Styx. So, they sell, like, vitamins and personal care things. OBGYN approved, created by, or made by women. Um, they have, like, pregnancy test, ovulation test, I don't even know what all they have, but they have like personal hygiene things, they have like vitamins and pregnancy things, I guess, um, but it's like problem, problems, products created by women for women kind of a thing. Um, we have some truly clear, truly gone acne zone patches, which I've been using more of lately because I'm having a lot of chin breakouts and I feel like it's easier just to slap one of those on and cover all the bumps up than to do individual ones. Um, the Young Living Lavender Men Daily Shampoo. This is my favorite one that they have and I emptied it. It does take me a pretty long time to go through those to be honest. Um, Cure Hydration in Ruby Riot. I do like these but I don't put a whole stick in a bottle of water. That's too much for me. It's like an electrolyte mix. Um, I do really like this grapefruit one. Um, I do like either half or a third of a stick per bottle of water. Um, more than that, it's just too much for me. Um, Verb Energy Ginger Snap Bars. Those are an okay flavor. I like other flavors better. Um, Young Living Thieves hand sanitizing wipes. So I don't buy the ones that are just thief wipes. I buy these hand sanitizing ones that are good to fit in like a diaper bag or in your car or whatever. But I keep them on my counter to clean up little messes that need sanitization, not just a wipe. So 
they just stay on my counter. Um, cotton balls, these are from Walgreens. I just grab cotton balls wherever I'm at. I usually just grab a pack. I found that I was running out of space to grab them because I would grab a pack every time I went into a store. So I stopped for a while, but now I'm back to the point to where I can go back to that um, flow. Oh, another sponge jelly in blackberry. Like I said, I do like that scent a lot. Um, glowiest ASAP patches. So just, um, hydrocolloid patches in two different sizes. There were 81 in here. These are from FabFitFun and they were a very good price. The smaller size is a little smaller than I would like, but the big size is really good. Let's see what else. Um, another thing of sticks liners. We've already talked about that. We can move along. Um, more bougie olive oil. Oops, lots of glass bottles here for me to recycle. Um, another Truly Clear, Truly Gone Acne Zone patches. Um, and my Beauty Counter Cleanser. So this is the counter control. This is what I use every day. This is the Clear Pore Cleanser. So it's for acne, a little bit of an exfoliating moment. If you have like combo skin, this one's really good. Or oily skin, this is the one I would recommend. I keep one on my sink and one in the shower so that I don't have to take it in and out because I prefer to use it in the shower if possible because it does have little scrubby things. I feel like it's easier to use in the shower. Um, a shower gel and coconut guava. We've talked about this brand a million times. So I'm still just using up those that I have. I think that one actually is the last one. A Young Living Christmas Spirit Hand Soap. Love that. I wish that they had a refill for that one, to be completely honest, because that one's probably my favorite. Um, Ritual Vitamins. I do take my vitamins, guys, if there is any concern that I don't. Um, Bloom Organic Tampons. This is a pack of regular. I've said before I'm going to stop buying these because... They kind of shed, if they don't 100% soak up, whatever, if they're dry at all, they will shed, which is gross. Um, I don't want to have to deal with that. Here's also a pack. This one's super size. So I have a regular size and a super size, and I keep saying I'm going to stop buying them, but I just am so picky about things that I would rather deal with the shedding than certain other brands that I feel like don't absorb correctly either or like leak. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm working on it. Taking suggestions. Um, another pack of the Thieves hand sanitizing wipes. We don't need to talk about like that again. Another pack of the Zone patches. Um, my favorite, favorite sandwich bags are these ones from Ikea. Um, they're not very expensive. There's 25 in here. I think I paid 99 cents for this, but they're really sturdy and like you can refill them with like the same thing if you want and they'll be fine. Um, they're just really good sandwich bags. Um, Beauty Counter Clean Dio Refill and Fresh Coconut my personal favorite and i also have the refill for the soft lavender which is my second favorite so those have both been refilled let's see what else is in here um young living super vitamin d so you got to take that especially when you work the night shift and don't go in the sun i supplement so i don't necessarily take one every day but if I know I'm not going out in the sun or I'm not getting enough sun, at least, you know, 20 to 30 minutes a day, then I'll just go ahead and take one just to make sure I'm getting my recommended dosing. There are some beauty products in here that are not necessarily used up but need to go. So I'm gonna grab a handful of these. And then when I get through them, I'm gonna stop talking and share something with you guys that I want you to know. Okay, let's 
let's do one more handful. Whatever's in here, let's pull it out. Okay. Um, Isle of Paradise self tanning drops in light. I do really like these. These are expired. You can tell because they smell weird now. Um, I didn't use these this year, which is why they're expired and it looks like I only use like a quarter of the bottle. They're not terribly expensive if you're going to use them. Um, they're really good. You just add that to moisturizer, put it all over your body, and you'll be good to go. Um, you do have to make sure you use the same amount per extremity um, if you want it to look nice, but it just needs to go because it's expired. Um, Beauty Counter Counter Control All Over Acne Treatment. So I haven't been using this one as much. I've just been using the spot treatment. This one's empty though glass bottle so I need to recycle that um a basically empty bottle of clear nail polish this is cure flash dry top coat you can see maybe in the bottom there's like some particles from where I have used this I use this on my toes not on my fingers um but where like other colors have gotten on the brush and it's gotten down there in the bottom and it's really thick so to the point to where it needs to go even though it's not used up um rna power moisturizing cream this is a deluxe sample from sephora i used it a couple times didn't like it so it's still there um belief moisturizing eye balm kind of the same thing deluxe sample didn't use it um perfume sample from sephora this is Stella by Stella McCartney. Um, it's like a peony scent. I actually don't like this one. I carried those around for a long time because they're so small, but they're, some of them just are so aggressive. No, thank you. Um, these, this is the Beauty Counter Aromatherapy Bath Oil from last year's holiday collection and Clarify. I also have one here in Invigorate that I used up. So those will need to be recycled. Um, Belief the Truth Cream Moisturizer. This one actually might be used up. Nope, it's not. It's like half used up. Um, I'm sure it's expired. Um, Origins High Potency Nitamins Resurfacing Cream. I used most of this, as you can see. And then I moved on to other things that I liked more. Um... This Physician's Formula Bronzer is hard to let go of. This is the Butter Bronzer. It's so good. It is scented like sunscreen, basically. Um, has this little applicator in here that I never used. Um, but it's so good. The only thing I don't like is that it doesn't... Well, I guess the mirror is underneath here, so it has a mirror, but, like, it's hard to maneuver for me. I don't know why. Um, but I was just holding on to this for no good reason. <laughs> I am certain it is expired. I've had it a long time, so it, but it needs to go. Last thing, Marvis toothpaste in aquatic mint. So this is, like, a mini size. You can get these from Sephora or lots of other places. I think these are like five or six dollars good to throw in your bag like your travel bag or in your purse diaper bag whatever if you just need to brush your teeth multiple times throughout the day and you're not going to be at home these are really good for that i do really like these um big thing that i want to share is that i am hosting a big beauty counter giveaway now through the end of the year basically um, now through Christmas and I'm gonna give away some of the holiday sets or at least one depends on how many people play but I also have like some full-size products I want to give away like I have an Albright C serum I have one of the brightening facial oils um, some other things I want to give away to to people um, it is no purchase necessary to play, but you do have to be in my Safe Swaps Facebook group. So I will add the link there and I'll do the shopping link as well. Um, so if you want to play, ask to join. 
There are a couple ways to win things. Um, inviting people to the group is the first one. The more people that play, the more things I can give away. Um, second thing is obviously making purchases. And then I'm going to have a bingo card on there. So some of the things do involve purchasing things. Some things are no purchase necessary. If you get a bingo, you're also entered to win. So lots of ways to win and you don't necessarily have to make a purchase. Making a purchase is probably going to help you because it's going to get you an entry plus a space on your bingo card, yada, yada, yada. But totally up to you if you want to play. Come have fun with us. Invite your friends. Holiday Collection is launching October 4th. So if you're excited for that, I'm so excited for the Holiday Collection this year. I purchased in the pre-sale, so I have all of my holiday things here already. If you want to purchase during pre-sale, it has been extended now through Friday night. So today is Thursday, September 29th. It ends Friday, September 30th at midnight or 11:59, whatever um so if you want to join as a consultant for $50 you can do that and purchase those sets at a discount so if you have FOMO and you think if you wait till the fourth you're gonna miss something because it's gonna get sold out before you get on there you can join as a consultant for $50 Holiday is a great time to join just because there are people looking for things to give away, like to purchase and give as gifts. Good time to start. Um, so you could probably, you could make your $50 back really easily, basically. If you want more info on that, message me on Facebook, message me on Instagram, and I'll get back to you. But I'm going to do the Facebook group link and the beauty counter link so you can purchase if you want to play along that way without being in the Facebook group. You can do that. I will be keeping track of all the purchases. So if you purchase and want to enter just in the group and not be in the Facebook group, you can do that too. Um, but it's more fun with more friends. So join us if you want. It's going to be so fun and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!